Throughout history, people have been pretty good at solving problems. We fix things, change things, and if we can't, we invent something. But there are some problems that we've all faced for so long that we've forgotten that they're even problems. We've given up on finding a solution and accept them as normal. My name is Dr. Michael Larson, and these are the kinds of problems I solve. Sleep is and has been a huge problem for a lot of people. Why is it, in an age when we can send a picture instantly to anyone in the world, we can't come up with a solution to help people who are not getting a good enough night's sleep? That question hit home for me in 2012, when my own daughter was diagnosed with a sleep disorder. To call the drug that was prescribed to her harsh would be a gross understatement. It was GHB, and that name might not mean much to you, but it's the date rape drug. And I remember thinking to myself, is this the best we can do? Give a 17-year-old girl the date rape drug in order to sleep better? Why don't any sleeping solutions work? Why do we accept harsh drugs as a solution? Why is it that gimmicky products that claim to track our motion when we sleep get bought by the millions? I think people started accepting these solutions because they gave up on finding a real solution. My job is to invent things that solve problems. A lot of times, instead of specific things, inventions address broad issues. I knew if this problem was going to be solved, I couldn't just solve her problem. I couldn't just solve sleep disorders. I had to solve sleep. And that's what I did. I had to start by defining sleep. Sleep is a mystery, but one thing we do know is that our brain activity rate has to be really slow for our bodies to be asleep. The challenge then was to find a way to intentionally slow your brain rate. And what I found were binaural beats. And frankly, they're amazing. On the surface, binaural beats seem to just be two tones, one played into each ear, but they're actually so much more. Each tone is set to a very specific but different frequency. When these signals cross in your brain, your brain adapts to them. So depending on how you set these frequencies, you can raise or lower your brain rate. The studies behind binaural beats speak for themselves. However, binaural beats, although effective, can only slightly change your brain rate. When you first go to bed, your brain rate is about 50 hertz. And to fall asleep, it's got to get all the way down to 10 hertz. We discovered that your brain won't adapt if the beats try to get your rate from 50 all the way down to 10 in one shot. It's just too big a leap. But what they can do is take you to 45, and then to 40, 35 and so on. So the question became, how do we know when to change the beats at the right time? The answer is, with this. With just this little guy, we can monitor your brain rate. When we put this in charge of the binaural beats, it knows exactly what tone to play. When your brain rate lowers, the chip records that and lowers the tones accordingly. And when we combine all these elements, we came up with this. We call it the Sleep Shepherd. At night, when you're getting ready for bed, all you do is put it on and hit Start Sleep on the app. It instantly begins monitoring your brain rate and begins to play the right binaural beats. As the Sleep Shepherd senses your brain rate lowering, it changes the tones. It's smart, too, because it knows when you fall asleep. And when you do, it turns off the tones, but it continues to monitor your brain. If the Sleep Shepherd senses your brain is waking up, the tones will turn back on and guide you back to a deeper sleep. Because the Sleep Shepherd keeps you in deeper sleep for longer, you can get the same amount of sleep you usually do, but now those hours are going to count more. Because of its organic shape, because it's lightweight, because the fabric breathes so well, the Sleep Shepherd is incredibly easy to sleep in. On your back, on your side, it doesn't matter. You're gonna forget you have it on. The Sleep Shepherd is not some 3D render that might get made once we get funded. Both the fully functioning Sleep Shepherd 
and app for iPhone and Android are ready right now. There are a lot of features with the Sleep Shepherd we're really excited about. It tracks every aspect of your sleep, how long you're asleep, what kind of sleep you're in, even your head orientation during the night. And it holds on to this data so you can see how it improves your sleep over time. In the morning, the Sleep Shepherd uses the same concept it used to put you to sleep, but in reverse to wake you up. Over time, it gently wakes your brain up. Everyone's had that morning where you wake up and feel refreshed. But it's more than that. You wake up, you're ready. You're alert, you're excited. You wake up and you feel incredible. That's what it's like when you wake up with the Sleep Shepherd. My daughter's been using the Sleep Shepherd every night. And as of December 2013, she's off the GHB completely. She's sleeping better and her life has changed for the better. For the first time, we have a real solution for sleep. And we think that's something to get excited about.